Hello, this is Ellie from SafeNet has technical support. I would like to talk about uh, Runtime API. And here I'm looking at uh, the toolbox uh, to see what are the Runtime API methods or functions that we have. The very first one, of course, is the login. The login uh, is uh, the most important uh, one to choose in order to make sure to verify that the feature exists. Obviously the feature exists, it means also that the key exists. For instance, if I use feature number 0 uh, and the vendor code, the one that I choose here, it's the default demo MA for demonstration, and then if I click on execute and I get OK, that means that feature 0 exists. Now, where it exists whether it's a, an, an H, HL key connected to my machine or an SL key on my uh, hard disk or perhaps it, uh, the feature number zero was found on another machine which is connected to this uh, uh, LAN I don't know but I, I just wanted to make sure that feature zero exists and so so it is I can see it I can also obviously uh, make a log out uh, following it in order to finish uh, the session. So login is the very first one. But sometimes I don't want just to log in and find feature number zero. I want to log in to a specific location to make sure that on this specific location, location might be might be a specific machine or a specific uh, a key or specific product within a key etc all these kind of uh, options I can see over here uh, a part of the feature I can for instance choose whether I want to uh, have a feature number zero to make sure that it finds it only on has hardware keys connected to my machine let's see currently I don't have any hardware con uh, hardware key connected to my machine let's see what is the result the result is empty. It didn't find feature number zero because there's no special key. Uh, I can. Uh, not all the options are listed. For instance, if I choose special, I can see that uh, there there is an XML format. And for instance, if I change the HL into SL, then it will find. It will try to find SL keys. Let's see if I find uh, zero. Uh, feature zero on my SL key, it might, it should have, it should have find because I have SL key on this machine. So yes, it has found. Now, obviously, I can also open uh, all the time, whenever I would like, I can open the uh, ACC in order to make sure where it is, uh, it is uh, done. I go to ASP keys and I see that sesh, there is a session here, and if I open it uh, in the features. I can see that feature number zero has one session. Uh, I can also make sure if I log out to see that this f session ended. So yes, this was the session. So I can uh, verify where it goes uh, and when it, where it finds it. But getting back to the login scope, it allows me to uh, direct the login into a specific place. For instance, let's see another thing. Uh, I can, uh, for instance, go to specific product. So suppose that I would like to uh, find feature zero in a specific product. So let's see first what are the products that I have here. If I go to, uh, let's see, uh, for instance here, I have several products. Now each product, if I stand on it, I can see product ID, for instance, number two. Product ID number nine. Let's go and do it for product ID number nine. So uh, and product ID number nine as feature number two. So let's try to uh, have it log into feature number two. So what I will do is first I will choose feature number two and then specific product I will choose product ID nine. So let's see if it's working. It says it is, as far as okay, but let's go to the ACC. Yeah, I can see that the feature number, let's start from the beginning. I see that this key 
has the session if I go to products I see uh, nothing here but if we go to this product I can see that I have one session which means the login scope directed the login into a specific product product number nine only if you find product number nine and inside you find feature number two then you find the license that you want to find so uh, using this I'm able to see uh, many other options let's uh, have a, a small brief of, of other uh, API we have the option to uh, decrypt and encrypt uh, the memory uh, we can check what is the size of the key connected read and write from the key connected when I'm talking about key connected obviously uh, it might use be useful for HL as well as SL get RTC get real-time clock if the key is uh, connected is has a, a runtime clock on it get in for many options to get uh, many kind of options sessions of info update for updating licenses and detach for detaching thank you for watching